Hi, it's uh, Steve here from Analytics in Action. What I want to do today is give you a quick introduction to the basics of SQL Server Integration Services. And I'm going to talk about six, six things today. So first thing, I'll talk about you know what is SQL Server Integration Services, or, SI, or SSIS as it's also known as. Uh, secondly, I want to talk about why you'd want to use uh, a tool like SQL Server Integration Services. I'll talk about the basic building blocks um, needed to uh, to build a um, a package, and then I'll go through a live example of a uh, integration services package. Then I'll go on to talk about you know how to learn uh, integration services and um, give you a few tips on sort of how I f how I feel it's. Um, I suppose most easily learnt, and then I'll give you a few uh, free resources, and I'll try and do this all in about eight minutes. So, what is um, SQL Server Integration Service? As well, it's a tool that's used to uh, build ETL processes, uh, and an ETL process is an extract, transform, load process. The uh, uh, extract is about extracting data from various data sources so it could be a, um, a database such as a SQL Server database or an Oracle database or it could just be an Excel file or, or a text file um, and within a um, an integration services package you might pull data from several different um, data sources and it copes with that fine. Um, the, uh, the T part of the uh, ETL is about transforming data um, so it'll uh, involve things like merging um, a couple of different data sets together based on say a, um, a common key. It could involve filtering data um, such as filtering customers down to a particular um, segment um, or it could also involve something like an aggregate so summing data or counting data. Um, also another example is um, uh, derived fields where you might want to do something like calculate um, the time that a customer, the date in which a customer subscription expires. So you might want to um, uh, calculate a field such as uh, renewal date minus 30, 30 days or something like that. And once you've done the extracting and transforming of data, you then want to load it up into a destination. So that destination might be, a, say, a shared folder within a company directory where people in another team can access the data. So SQL Server Integration Services is a part of SQL Server 2005 and 2008, uh, and it comes in the standard and uh, enterprise editions. Um, and it doesn't come in the the free um, the free uh, version, unfortunately. Um, the free, sorry, um, Express edition. It is, however, available as a uh, free 108-day trial download. Um, and all you need to do is just type SQL 2008 108-day trial, and you can get access. It, uh, you can get access to it that way. Um, another way you can uh, get hold of a copy is by buying the developer edition uh, and that's a pretty cheap um, way to get hold of it, it costs about $50, doesn't expire but you can't um, uh, run uh, the, for the, the licensing means you're not allowed to run it in a, in a production environment. So why would you want to use uh, integration services? Um, one of the main benefits is it allows for very rapid development of a, um, of a, um, of a solution. Um, the graphical user interface um, means that uh, you don't need, uh, in most cases, you don't need to write any code. Personally, I I'm not a, uh, I'm not very familiar with code, so I just use the um, the use graphical user interface. Um, the other nice thing about integration services is it copes very well with large volumes of data. Um, it is a server-based. Uh, it was designed to run on servers, so servers obviously cope with large volumes of data very well. But in saying that, you can also run um, SQL Server off a uh, off a moderately powered uh, laptop as well. So I have a uh, copy of uh, the developer edition on my on my laptop, and that's just running. It has four gigs of, of RAM on it, and that, that runs fine. Um, the other nice thing about integration services is really um, it allows you to audit 
the um, the ETL package for in a, in a in a really logical, intuitive sort of way. Um, as you'll see a little bit later on, um, ETL packages uh, look like a series of pipes joined joined together, and it's probably quite a good analogy of water flowing through pipes as opposed to throwing um, uh, like data. What well, sorry, the data flows through these uh, pipe-like structures, like water would flow through a pipe. And at each step in the pipe, you can add an auditing process to, for example, uh, do a count of how much data is going through, or to view data. Um, and also it allows you to uh, annotate this, uh, this sort of like pipe diagram as well, um, to explain to you um, what's happening in each process. And that's really handy if you're building quite complex processes where you can sometimes um, forget perhaps what's happened at five or six or ten steps before the um, uh, prior to where you're at. Um, also allows for debug debugging and you can also um, schedule um, integration service to run at set times. So if you need to if you've got a very large volume of data to move um, through a through a package you may want to set it to run at midnight so it'll all be done by the time you get into work. Okay, um, integration services uh, packages can be made up of a number of um, basic building blocks, and these building blocks can just basically be dragged onto the um, onto the work surface and connected up as as needed. And the nice thing is about uh, probably about 90% of basic sort of day-to-day -day, um, SSIS solutions can be built with um, a relatively small number of building blocks. So um, the common building blocks are, are connection managers, so connection managers as mentioned before connect to a data source, they're also used to connect to an output as well. Um, and you get different connection managers for different uh, different uh, sort of um, different sort of files that you want to connect to. So a connection manager for a database is uh, different than say a connection manager for an Excel file or a, um, or a text file. Um, you also get um, the other common building blocks is, uh, are a um, aggregate function, so things like sums and counts. Um, merge join is a is another common building block where you're actually joining two files together based on a, a common key. Um, sort transformations where you want to say sort a um, a column in descending or ascending order. Um, data conversions, so data conversions are um, really handy building blocks. They are uh, Quite often, you need to say convert um, numeric data that's in a text format into a proper numeric you know, um, format, so you can actually run a, a, a sum or, or, or a uh, yeah, such as a, a sum on it. Um, there are also conditional splits, so they're pretty much like a um, also act like a like a filter in many ways. So you can split data uh, into different data sets based on a on a, on a um, on a uh, condition such as you know greater than four hundred uh, dollars in sales or less than four hundred dollars in sales, uh, you've got the merge transformation, um, which is uh, different than a merge join. So a merge transformation is like an uh, append, a multicast. Multicast is basically splitting a single data set, copying it, and sending it off into um, in different directions. You've got a pivot transformation, which is like a, a pivot in that you'd see in Excel, so that's converting um, row data into column, unpivot, which is basically the opposite of a, of a pivot, so column data being converted back into rows, and then you've got a union all, which is actually very similar to a, to a merge transformation. So what I'm going to do is give you a demo of a, um, of a basic uh, integration services package, and in this demo it'll t uh, I'm going to Basically, we pair some uh, data for a uh, for a mail out for a, um, going out to customers. So um, what we're going to do is extract some customer names from a text file. Also, going to extract the products purchased from a um, the products that those customers purchased from a, from another text file. We're then going to transform the data. We're going to use a uh, merge join transformation to join the two files together uh, based on a customer ID. We're then going to convert um, some of the uh, 
purchase or sales data from text format into a currency format. We're then going to aggregate the, uh, the value of the purchases by customer so we can view the total sales and then do a conditional split, uh, split to select customers with uh, purchases greater than $400 and then we're going to load that off into a destination file.